हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ ए एस फलमारी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटीज एंड साइंसेस वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न डी मॉयवर्स थेरम लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू इवेल्युएट द पावर्स ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स यूजिंग डी मॉयवर्स थेरम let us start this video with the theorem de moivre's theorem is for any rational number n the value or one of the value of cos theta plus i sin theta bracket raised to n is equal to cos n theta plus i sin n theta de moivre's theorem has the many applications it is used to evaluate the powers of a complex numbers it is also used to find out the roots of a complex number uh, roots of an equations so in this video we will see how to find out the powers of certain complex numbers using de moivre's theorem before going to start the example it has some corollaries now the corollary number 1 is that cos theta minus i sin theta bracket raised to n is equal to cos n theta minus i sin n theta so the difference between the de moivre's theorem and the corollary is the middle sign in the corollary is minus and for the de moivre's theorem is plus still uh, for such a expression it is possible to write down this power at as a coefficient in the angles for cos and sin how it is possible let us see now the given expression is cos theta minus i into sin theta bracket raised to n now our aim is to convert it to the standard form of a de moivre's theorem cos of theta plus i sin theta so in order to write here now we will absorb this minus in sin using the property of a sin which is an odd function and we can write this minus sin theta as sin of minus theta and outside we can write plus i to have the same angles for cos and sin and cos is an even function so cos of minus theta is again cos theta so that we can replace this cos theta as cos of minus theta here now here we can see that cos of same angle plus i sin of same angle and having bracket some rational number now we can up, uh, apply de moivre's theorem here we get it as cos of minus n theta plus i sin of minus n theta now again using the even and odd property of the cos and sin we get it as cos of minus n theta equal to cos n theta cos is an even function and sin is an odd function therefore sin of minus n theta is minus of sin n theta and this i is as it is one more corollary cos theta minus i sin theta bracket raised to n is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta bracket raised to minus n sometimes it is required to write down uh, such a kind of a quantity in terms of cos theta plus i sin theta in such a case we use this corollary number 2 so let us see how it is true so given quantity is cos theta minus i sin theta bracket raised to n as we have seen above we can absorb this minus inside sin uh, by writing like this cos of minus theta plus i sin of minus theta now here we can see that uh, in the angles for cos and sin minus 1 coefficient is present so applying de moivre's theorem in the reverse way that is writing this minus 1 coefficient in the power we get it as minus n and the bracket we have cos theta plus i sin theta some important notes while applying de moivre's theorem to apply de moivre's theorem the real part must be the cosine one and the imaginary part must be the sine one that is de moivre's theorem cannot be directly applied to sin theta plus i cos theta bracket raised to n here this is not a standard structure but it is possible to convert it to the structure of a de moivre's theorem the procedure is what this is what a given thing sin theta plus i cos theta bracket raised to n we know the relation between cos and sin like this sin theta can be converted into cos by the result 
sin theta equal to cos of pi by 2 minus theta and cos theta can be converted to sin of pi by 2 minus theta. Now we can see that now it is what the standard structure of a de Moivre's theorem uh, and some uh, bracket power is present. Now we can apply de Moivre's theorem. We get it as cos of n into the bracket pi by 2 minus theta plus i sin n into pi by 2 minus theta. So this is what the procedure when the real part is given as a sine and imaginary part as a cos. Uh, but in such a case, we cannot apply de Moivre's theorem directly. One more important note is to apply de Moivre's theorem, the angles present with sine and cos are must be same. That is, de Moivre's theorem cannot be applied to cos theta plus i sin phi bracket raised to n because the structure is same but uh, the angles present with cos and sin are different. So in such a case, it is not possible to use de Moivre's theorem. These two results are very important. So let us consider examples. Simplify cos 5 theta minus i sin 5 theta bracket raised to 2 into cos 7 theta plus i sin 7 theta bracket raised to minus 3 divided by cos 4 theta minus i sin 4 theta bracket raised to 9 into cos theta plus i sin theta bracket raised to 5. This is what a very big expression. Now we have to convert it to a simple complex number form. To simplify such a complex number, we consider each term and we are trying to write it in the form of cos theta plus i psi theta uh, with some power. Now consider the first term cos 5 theta minus i sin 5 theta bracket raised to 2. Now according to corollary number 2, we can take this 5 and minus in the power so that the term left is cos theta plus i sin theta bracket raised to minus 5 into 2 is minus 10. Consider cos 7 theta plus i sin 7 theta bracket raised to minus 3. Now applying de Moivre's theorem in reverse order, we get it as cos theta plus i sin theta bracket raised to this 7 we have to write in the power, but in the power already minus 3 is present. So 7 into minus 3 is minus 21. Now consider the next bracket cos 4 theta minus i sin 4 theta bracket raised to 9. Applying corollary number 2 here, we can write it as cos 4 theta plus i sin 4 theta and taking this minus sign in the power, we get it as minus 9. Now applying de Moivre's theorem, that is writing this 4 in the power, we get it as cos theta plus i sin theta bracket raised to 4 into minus 9, which is minus 36. And the next bracket which is also in a standard form. Now let us substitute all these expressions for these terms in this given quantity. After substituting we get this expression. Now here we can see that the brackets are same. We can add and subtract the powers. Now the, the first power is minus 10. Next one is minus 21. So it is minus 10 minus 21 is minus 31. In the denominator, it is minus 36 and 5, which is again minus 31. Both the terms are same, so that after cancelling them, we get the value as 1. So this big expression, which looks like very complex in nature, it is nothing but a simple number 1. Pause this video and find sin theta minus i cos theta bracket raised to 6. I hope that all of you have written the answer. Now the problem is to find out the value of sin theta minus i cos theta bracket raised to 6. Now the solution. Now we can see that the structure is not like a de Moivre's theorem. So we, we use the relation for, we use this relation to convert sin to cos and cos to sin. Now writing sin theta as cos of pi by 2 minus theta and minus i as it is and writing cos theta as sin of pi by 2 minus theta and the power bracket 6 as it is. Now let us apply de Moivre's theorem directly. We get it as what? Cos of 6 into pi by 2 minus theta minus i sin of 6 into pi by 2 minus theta. That is equal to multiplying by this 6 inside the bracket. We get it as cos of 
6 pi by 2 is 3 pi minus 6 theta minus i sin of again multiplying by this 6 into the same bracket we get it as 3 pi minus 6 theta. Now in order to further simplification let us use the result of cos of a minus b here. The result is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b we get it as cos 3 pi cos 6 theta plus sin 3 pi sin 6 theta minus i and applying here the result sin of a minus b which is nothing but sin a into cos b minus cos a into sin b and after applying we get it as sin 3 pi into cos 6 theta minus sin 6 theta into cos 3 pi. Now we know the value of cos 3 pi is minus 1 so the first term is minus cos 6 theta and the value of sin 3 pi is 0 therefore the second term vanishes minus i as it is inside the bracket again here sin 3 pi is present again its value is 0 therefore we can write it as 0 plus uh, 0 and this minus and again cos 3 pi is present and cos 3 pi is minus 1 so this minus minus will become plus and sin 6 theta as it is then finally we get it as minus cos 6 theta minus i sin 6 theta.